Okay, uh, today I'm going to throw a uh, four pound uh, ball that the wall is very thin. Try to throw something that is thin wall. So usually uh, before you start it, you might want to make sure that you place your clay right in the center. Especially if you are a beginner. That way, uh, it will save you uh, some effort try to push clay around. So I'm just using water on my uh, ball here to make some mark. Or if you have pencil, you can use the pencil to draw some circles so that you have some uh, guideline to know where to put your clay. Uh, I don't recommend you just slam your clay right on the bed because uh, you know it's very hard to find this very center. So you uh, try to uh, get some mark and. And then just put it in the center and try to uh, use the hand to pound it. It's, it does the same thing as you slam so that you clay stick on the bat. But uh, this way it, it will be more accurate for you to try to put the clay into the middle, into the center. You see that my clay is quite in the center, so I will have a li little bit less effort to try to uh, push the clay around to center. Uh, the very first one, I usually like to get uh, the corner here using my right fingers to uh, to hold it there and then push down so the clay stick on the bed. And uh, you don't need to uh, squeeze the clay sky high you know, as long as uh, you are squeezing the clay. And then uh, you see that my right arm is right there uh, uh, to find the support. So while I'm pushing the clay down, the right hand is doing the job to uh, stop the clay from uh, wobbly or getting too wide, especially on the bottom corner. So that my right hand is holding right there while I'm pushing the clay down. So after I finish centering, I usually flatten the top and then I'm ready to open the hole. For opening the hole, I usually uh, use my thumb. I use my right thumb to kind of dig in a hole right in the middle and I don't use my hand or my, my thumb to, to open all the way uh, my right thumb is just open a small opening and later on I'm going to use my left hand to uh, do the opening job to really squeeze it down so I'm using my uh, whole fingers to uh, dig it in the middle from the middle of the, the hole and then uh, usually I will have my left thumb hanging on the outside so while I'm digging in, I'm still centering, I'm still grabbing the wall. And also the right hand could be there to support it. So dig it in. And you want to dig in all the way to the right uh, thickness. I would say about a quarter of it. Depending on how tall you want your foot be, uh, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch would be fine too. So you dig it all the way down and then you start to bring the clay out to the side. You open it wider. And remember when you are making a ball, you want to open up a little bit different from uh, open, you wanna, if you want to make a vase. Because for the vase, you will get to the uh, 90 degrees on the bottom. But for making a ball, you want to have a little bit shallow here, 
a little bit of curve here. And I'm kind of squeezing the clay a little bit more in so that I will have a smaller foot and then I'll open gradually. Doing the very first pinch, a pinch from the bottom corner, and try to lift clay. I kind of a move it up, out, a little bit out, but a little bit more up. Later on, it's, it will be easier for you if you want to be uh, uh, open it wider. It's easy to stretch it. So you want to get the height first. So I pinch using my left thumb. And my right hand is just holding it to uh, stabilize it. And basically, it's the pinching job from my left hand. And remember to uh, get the wall lubricate by adding a little bit of water and maybe a little bit of slip. So keep on pinching the the top all the way to the rim okay lubricate and now uh, my thumb is left thumb is too short to reach the very bottom so this time I'm going to use my right thumb to replace it but I uh, still want to do the same uh, pinch. And as you see that uh, my wheel speed isn't very fast. So when your wheel is not very going very fast, you could uh, move your move your hand, move your finger slowly. Slippery again. Right, one more time. My right thumb is squeezing the clay in. Slowly, but very steady. Up all the way to, to the rim. And compress. So I told you that uh, you want to get the ball higher and then later on you could uh, stretch a little easier. So put the slip back to work. A bit of water on the inside. Stretch a bit more. I think the height is, is 
good enough now I'm gonna stretch it so I'm gonna use my um, my rib on the outside to guide the clay and then my inside finger is on the inside pushing the wall slightly against the rib and slightly push it outward to stretch it Like I told you that it's easier to stretch it out. So that's why I bring it higher first and then now I'm all I, all I do is just stretching it and making the shape, make sure the shape is nice. Unnecessary clay at the bottom corner. Okay, now the, the outside has been taken care of it, but uh, uh, actually I care more of the inside than the outside. So uh, I will use a rib to try to smooth the inside and also get a nicer curve on the inside too. And uh, in here there is a, uh, this is a little uh, a wooden rib. And I think it's very uh, useful, especially uh, pushing on the inside. Uh, inside center part. So I add water to my rib and then slowly compress from the inside.
So I like this ribbons because it can uh, tip over so that you will have many different kind of curve. Start from this very uh, sharp curve, but if you tip over, then you have many different curve that fits very nicely on the inside of the bottom. So now I uh, compress the uh, inside bottom, and then I'm going to use the the metal rib to refine the surface on the inside. So um, I usually after I compress using the uh, wooden rib, I finally uh, at the final stage I would use the uh, metal rib to smooth the inside. What I did is, what I do is, I'm gonna bend my rib and make sure your rib doesn't uh, stay in there straight. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit sideways, sideways. So you wanna use the uh, the smooth part, not the edge of the the metal rib, not the edge. You wanna use the smooth part to smooth it. So you bend the rib and then. Okay, maybe uh, let me change the angle so that you will be able to see how. Okay, this is the inside look. Um, I want to show you how I hold my metal rib on the inside. So I'm bending my rib and try to use in uh, this part, the underneath part. Not uh, holding the straight one, you want to bend it and then lay it down. So the curve will be right there. Using my uh, metal rib to compress, to smooth the wall. Ready to move the, the rib up to the rim. And uh, like I say that if you want to uh, increase the size, the diameter, just stretch from the inside, make it go out a bit wider. how I now get uh, clean up the inside curve and uh, remember when you're using the uh, metal rib you want to go to the you want to close over the very center part because it's against the direction of the wheel so you want to go maybe a, a quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch away from the very center After that, you just take care of the rim. So I'm going to use the chamois to 
around the cone, the rim. So hold it right there using my two fingers, two fingers, the index finger, kind of uh, compressed. Okay, wrap around it and then compress it. Can squeeze it so that your rim is getting a bit thinner. This is about four pound of clay, and uh, the wall is getting thin. Okay, uh, this is the uh, finished one. Uh, again, it's about four pound of uh, porcelain, and uh, I told you that I care more of the inside curve. I wanna uh, be uh, nice and smooth, because when uh, you are using a ball or this little ball, all the people look at. The First is the inside of the ball, so uh, uh, the inside has to be a nice and clear that I consider a nice ball. And uh, yeah, this is quite a thin here already. And uh, later on, I could uh, trim if the outside is not as smooth as the inside. That's okay. I consider more the inside. I care more about the inside. So later on, you can just trim. Use a trimming method to get a nicer curve on the outside. And also people ask me, you know, uh, when you make something large or something wide or something like this, uh, how you remove from the wheel, uh, it should be easy. As long as you have a bed right here, like here I have a, a little uh, a bed here, and I place on, on the wheel head and after I finish, I just go underneath and just pick up the whole bed. And then I can uh, make another one. So. This is how I make a, a wider bowl on um, a bed and remove it. Okay, thanks.